so hi all welcome to my youtube channel code ml and today's agenda is file handling in python so how do we write read append and uh, how do we basically handle a file uh, in python we'll be discussing it today so firstly as you can see uh, in my screen there is an uh, import os command which is a os module that is a python library which helps in uh, providing few certain functions which helps in interacting with the operating system with the python interpreter okay so this import is the key python keyword which will import the uh, os that is the operating system library from python uh, from python okay different libraries which it contains so here uh, then the next line that is os.getcwd is uh, we have used for checking the current working directory so uh, in the os module uh, that is the os library we have a method like uh, named as get current working directory just as in unix file systems we have pwd that is print working directory so that gives us the in the unix it just gives us our current working directory same is the functionality of this uh, get cwd method it will show you the uh, print out the current working directory in which you are okay so i am under this you can see over here also at the url the local host i am at downloads so it showed me uh, in my username i have uh, i am in into the downloads folder okay so if you want to uh, change the current working directory to some other specific directory then you can use this uh, method that is chdir that is change directory so the changing directory we can tell uh, we can uh, do with the help of os dot chdir okay so and you can mention the path in the uh, single inverted quotes or double inverted quotes and it will help you uh, it will changing the directory of your choice then if you want to check that okay whether the directory has been changed or not you can again use this function to print out the current working directory i will do a shift enter and you can see the same path has been now changed to our current working directory now so this was few of the things which i need to show you before doing the file handling operations in python okay so uh, like file handling like we'll be oftenly doing while creating a few files or loading the data if suppose we have fetched out some data and we we need to write or uh, like append into some files which are already present in few of the directories so for that reason i have shown you these uh, uh, these two methods of os module so now coming on to the file uh, methods what all what all the file methods are there so basically see uh, here i will be working on the dot txt that is the notepad file uh, there are several uh, like the same methods where we can use with different different file formats also so basically the the most basic format i have taken over here is the dot txt that is the notepad file okay so how like we uh, read or uh, like create a file so there is a particular syntax for that so see uh, for uh, creating a file or reading a file see you have to follow this syntax what i have highlighted so open is the python keyword and inside the parenthesis you will be firstly writing the file path name the full file path name you will be mention, mentioning along with the uh, file name also so here if you can see in my this example i have mentioned the full file path name along with the file name as well with the uh, dot file that is an extension file name extension also okay so that you will be writing as a first parameter for this open function and then you will be uh, uh like you will be creating uh, like file in there are several different modes over there okay so for those uh, like as of now i have uh, mentioned in my comment section uh, this in these comments there are uh, like these four types of file operating modes but there are like several more others like r plus and w plus plus also so that i will explain you here only so firstly what is this r mode r mode is the read mode and see if you don't mention any file mode over here that means see this one this uh, attribute this parameter is optional if you don't want to mention then the default value for uh, uh, this uh, open method it will be read mode okay so the file will be opened in read mode by default okay and if suppose if there is no file present suppose see there are only two types of errors if you are opening the file in the read mode either the file name is wrong or the path Uh, where uh, you have uh, like mentioned what you have mentioned there the file is not present okay so maybe the path 
also may be wrong sometimes so you need to check before uh, checking that before if you are encountering any error like you should check for these two things that whether your name a file name is correct or not or even if the file path is correct or not okay and uh, if you are not mentioning any like mode over here in the second parameter for this open function then it will take the read mode as default value okay the next method is append method there are uh, append method means uh, what it will do is at the end of the file it will append whatever content you will be writing down okay and it will also create the file if it does not exist suppose if the file doesn't exist then the new file would be created and what you are writing that would be appended from the starting itself okay so starting or why because suppose if the file is not existing that means uh, you the once the file gets created it will be blank right so hence uh, in that case the append will be at the starting position or else uh, append basically does what it does is at the end of the file it appends whatever you are writing the new lines of code or li new lines of text okay so w w is again a method to write uh, to the file but here uh, dif in different like it is different from append in the way that it will overwrite the content whatever content would be present in the file from the starting it will be just overwriting it will be deleting that content which is already present and what it will do it will just uh, place the new content after deleting the old content so that's what it is overwriting the content so in this way it is uh, like uh, different from the append mode okay and the last is x that is create mode so this is just for uh, like creating a file it doesn't uh, like it doesn't have any other functionality if suppose the file exists with the same name then it will throw an error that okay already a file with the same name has been created in the that path which will be mentioning so now i'll be showing you with the live examples with the live piece of code so what i am doing over here firstly i am creating a file okay and uh, let me let me check you, let me show you first see here uh, we have a file what i can do is if suppose i want to delete i have deleted that okay so in my desktop as of now hello world file file is not present okay now we will be going to this our uh, jupyter notebook and i will be uh, creating a new file on desktop with the name hello world txt and uh, with the help of w mode that is write mode okay and uh, see what does this means see uh, basically uh, it is a good practice once you once you, when you are opening a file you should close the file as well okay so okay we'll be doing a shift enter and let's check that whether the file has been created or not see you can see uh, my file has been created okay and what we have done we have written my with the help of dot write method we have written in the file that okay we are learning file handling in python so let's check whether it has been uh, written in that file or not or what are the contents of the file see so you can see even the contents of the file are the same what we have written so i hope you are understand with understand with this part that writing how we are writing in a file with the help of this dot write so for just again reiterating uh, with the help of open function we have mentioned the path name along with the file name and the file extension what is the mode we have firstly first time we are creating a file so we have uh, started with the w mode that is uh, write mode and we are uh, storing this uh, uh, like this uh, file contents into our variable okay so suppose we are not having just we have uh, assigned this uh, file name uh, like file content to our variable and now we are writing so suppose if the file would have already have some cut content with the help of this write method why because we are opening with the help of w attribute so with the help of this w method it will overwrite the past content and it will just write the new content which we are mentioning over here in the write method inside and just now after that we are closing the file okay let's check once again okay yes okay so we have got that now we'll be going on for reading a file so for reading a file again this uh, with the help of open method we have just changed the above syntax and we have just used the r mode that is read mode so with the help of this uh, my file uh, we have assigned this whole uh, like uh, file name to this variable my file and we are uh, reading with the help of this dot read method 
so dot read method here we have specified this 15 as it will uh, like return the first 15 characters of that file when we have opened this file in the read mode so if suppose we are doing a shift enter over here so you can see it has returned pr learning so first 15 characters it will return okay so suppose uh, coming on to this next c dot read method I, I will again reiterate that dot read method will uh, you have to just write this uh, file name variable and then dot method the, the method name which you through which you want to what what all the operations you need to perform so for dot write means it will write into the file and if you are uh, dot if you are mentioning dot read it will read into the file coming on to this next example here just wanted to show you the best practice whatever we do uh, in our daily programming practices that we need to close that file what i have already shown you above over here before so here uh, the best practice it is to always close the file when you are done with it whatever your operations you have done you just need to write this my file that close that means this file variable name and dot close method with the uh, help of parenthesis so if you do a shift enter it will just read the contents full contents for you with the help of this print my field my file dot read i have written i have done and after this we have closed the file from with the help of these lines of code okay so i now i will show you uh, like how this uh, w is w method when we are uh, opening the file in the uh, with the help of w mode that is that means the right uh, mode what it will do actually it for the file okay so firstly i will do a shift enter and what we are doing over here we have opened the file with the help of this w mode store the content into the my file and then we are doing uh, hitting a write method so uh, after doing applying a write method it's we have mentioned over here that we are now overwriting a file contents let's check what is the file contents now So now you can see that uh, we are now overwriting a file contents. You can see that it has whatever uh, it was present earlier it has been overwritten. And this is our new piece of code. This is our new piece of text, which we have just uh, hit, uh, like we have just executed. So earlier our contents was, uh, we are learning file handling in Python. But when once we have uh, like uh, opened the file again with the help of this W mode, and we have written this piece of code that is we are now overwriting a file contents this has been done and uh, you can see this was earlier and this is the the same text which we have just now overwritten okay and then then we have done a my file dot close that means we have closed the file so hope you are now clear with this what is this w mode now we will also do a append so with the help of this open uh, function when we have opened the file with the help of a mode that is append mode and we are writing this new line now the file has been appended so let's check and we have then even closed also the file so after uh, appending this we are now reading the file contents let's check what happens so you, now you can see we are now overwriting a file contents and now the file has been appended i will even also show you i will also even show you directly on the new line it has written now the file has been appended so you can see like how the python is uh, writing with the help of this dot read methods write methods and with the help of how different modes we are able to interact with the files okay so this was uh, like read write and append mode now with the help of even with keyword this is the second method through which you don't need to explicitly mention that this uh, my file dot close uh, piece of code and it will automatically after you have done your work it will just close the file for you so for with the help of with keyword and uh, however like how uh, this piece of code has been written you don't need to explicitly uh, write dot close method okay so what we are doing we have written a with uh, python keyword and the same open keyword uh, with the open method we have uh, mentioned the new file name okay here as of now i have mentioned the new file name and as of now i have uh, specifically entered mode is equal to r that means if the file this is present it will open in the read mode and what is the variable name for us this is our file variable name in which this uh, file contents will be stored and with the help of new file dot read method we will be able to read the contents of the file 
so as you can see we don't have any hello world 2 file in our desktop that's why it has shown the error no such file or directory okay if suppose if i have written like this now let's check what happens see now you can see that we are able to read the file contents okay so now uh, so this was the second method how we can uh, read the file with the help of this same with open keyword even we can read write or append also in the file okay so suppose i will try to show you one more example okay suppose if i so with the help of when we are doing an append we'll be uh, using the method write okay okay and we will be don't need to print it exactly okay okay and uh, we have done just a, let me check that whether the indentation is proper or not okay and uh, okay so i now i have app appended the file with the help of this with open keyword let's check that whether uh, we have uh, the contents in our file or not that is i have again appended in a file whether this statement has been written in the file or new our file or not let's check that see at the end of the line it has already written i have again appended in a file one minute let's check uh, let's delete this i have deleted this and once again i will show you why because it's a little bit awkward now i can show you once again now it will uh, this uh, write this uh, append this, this uh, sentence into a new line with the help of this backslash n So now it is perfectly clear that okay i have again appended in a file so this was uh, the other method with the help of uh, you can do the read write append operations so the last method was create mode that is x so with the help of this if suppose uh, if you want to create a new file you just with the help of this x mode you can create a file okay so you can see now i can show you this see hello world 2.txt has been created for you okay and uh, okay so file exist okay why because it is showing like this because we have already done that's why so that's why it is showing that okay file exist why because i have done this now it will be working fine so if suppose if you want to for how do we remove the file so we can remove the file with the help of this os module dot remove method and you have to mention the full path name to remove this so if you do a shift enter so it will remove the file for you so you can see now the hello world 2 file which we created has been removed now so i think this was uh, all the operations which we do basically uh, with the help of this four methods see there are many more methods also like uh, r plus and also x plus so you can uh, not x plus sorry that is w plus so with the help of uh, these four methods you can go ahead and check for that okay what are these r plus and uh, w plus methods so if you have some uh, doubts regarding these two methods also please post uh, in the comment sections and i will be happy to resolve them and uh, if you like my content please do subscribe and share across your links as well thank you